All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. We have some breaking NFL news. It just came out like five minutes ago here. One of my favorite players in football, safety Marcus May, has reached an agreement with the New Orleans Saints. Three years, $28 million. Man, from a personal standpoint, I'm happy that May has found an awesome, awesome home with the Saints. I mean, Dennis Allen is just, a, he's a genius back there defensively. They have so much talent. And by the way, he's actually joining uh, ex-Jet Demario Davis, and he has been absolutely electric for the Saints. So I'm happy... You know, when I look at it from that perspective, I'm, I'm pumped for Marcus, man. I'm really excited for him to get that opportunity to replace Marcus Williams. And yes, Marcus Williams is a better player at the end of the day. He's younger, has more of an upside. But at the same time, Marcus May is not some sort of steep drop off. He is not. He is Saints fans. He is a very, very good football player. I've, I've been a big, again, big fan of Marcus May since since he was drafted. And obviously, he came in with Jamal Adams in the same year. Jamal was sixth overall. Marcus May was our second round pick. And uh, just as rookies, I mean, they made a day one impact. But Marcus May really grew under Greg Williams, right? It, it took him a little bit. Jamal Adams got traded. Once Adams was traded, to Seattle, May took that step forward. He was playing strong safety. He was playing free safety. All of a sudden, he was almost this veteran leader back there. On, yeah, like almost at like a snap of a finger, he goes from being a young up and coming player to looking around the defensive room and saying, "You know what? Like I'm one of the older guys here, and I have to I have to step up and be a leader." He excelled in Greg Williams' system. When Jamal Adam again, when Jamal Adams left, he had the best season of his career. Salah comes in. And he gets hurt, right? Suffers that lower body injury, and it was a season ender. Okay, so there's no telling how he's going to look, um, you know, post injury, right? Post rehab and all that, all that kind of stuff. But I'll say this: if Marcus May looks anything like how he did pre-injury, then the Saints are getting a very, very good player, a guy who can underrated hitter. He could really lay the boom, but he has he has awesome speed and um i'm pumped for him i'm really really pumped for him saints fans i would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section from i mean I've, I've watched literally every single jet game uh that i could remember in the last i think the last game i missed was maybe six years ago or something like that and that was due to not having power because of a hurricane like i've watched a lot of jets football and marcus may has always stood out as uh you know j just a ultimate professional and um it sucks. It sucks that he's, you know, no longer going to be wearing green and white. Um, but it is what it is, you know. Again, Saints, awesome destination, and the Jets are moving forward with Whitehead and Lamarcus Joyner uh, as we stand right now. So totally excited about that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it, and as always, go Jets.